The Statue of Liberty's Burqa. The President is obsessed with deporting Arabs. Although, by a superb comic irony, it was an Arab who modelled for the United States' icon, namely the Statue of Liberty. The sculptor's monument was initially designed for the opening of the Suez Canal. The original depicted an Arab woman holding a torch. It was destined for the canal's southern portal. His first drawings show, quotes, a gigantic female fillah or Arab peasant, with a veil modestly hiding her lips. The sculptor told Egypt's ruler that she represented progress, a beacon to light the way for oncoming ships. Unfortunately for the artist, Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, Egypt's bankrupt Khedive or ruler couldn't afford its installation, but undeterred, Bartholdi recycled it and offered it to New York to commemorate the American Revolution. Its first title had been Egypt Carrying the Light to Asia, but now the figure's veil would be removed, and for his prospective U.S. clients, Bartleby called it Liberty Enlightening the World. But despite Bartleby tweaking the flowing Arab garments and turning them into Greco-Roman dress, it's still a huge stone Arab that occupies New York Harbour, making fun of the President's petty-mindedness and of his paranoia, for far more Americans die as a result of their falling out of bed or being stung by bees rather than being killed by terrorists, never mind fellow citizens shooting them dead. Despite the most worthless president in U.S. history wishing to banish all Arabs from his shores, an Arab giantess in New York is welcoming migrants and giving the lie to his immigration laws. However much the president may demonize Arabs, here's one who's rooted to the ground, making a better job of symbolizing American liberty without her having to utter a sound.